And lastly, I forgot what I wanted to say. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Now, this might not be the most popular opinion, but I do find typing experience on the membrane keyboards better than on the mechanical ones. Now, I, for the sake of disclosure, I do have a mechanical uh, Rockat Rios MK Pro, which I use for productivity reasons with insane amount of shortcuts. However, majority of my articles and scripts are actually being written on a laptop which has a membrane keys. Now, I do that for speed and comfort reasons, however, your opinion might be much different. I'm not here to convince you that my way is better. What I'm here to present is a Xiaomi Mi W, or whatever it's called. So, Xiaomi has their fingers in many pies, and one of them apparently are keyboards. And this particular keyboard is quite interesting for a couple of reasons. First of all, do not tell your boss about this keyboard, because you can switch between an input, so you can link a Bluetooth device, or you can link a computer via standard dongle. What's really awesome about this keyboard is how quickly it switches from the computer to mobile and back again. So let me show you. Right now I can type on the computer and then I hold the button for literally less than a second. I'm connected to my mobile now. And if I want to go back, press it here and I'm able to type it back in there. Literally less than two seconds each time. Let's talk about layout. Despite big keycaps and actual numpad, uh, this keyboard is only 40 centimeters wide and 15 centimeters tall, which isn't actually that big. It's only slightly bigger than my laptop. Now, this keyboard has a membrane keys and it's unlikely to have a spare keycaps, which means you'll have to get used to the layout itself. Now, there are a couple of changes uh, uh, that I introduced to this keyboard comparing to my uh, mechanical keyboard and my laptop keyboard which for example the at is above the two you have a hashtag which is missing from here etc so double check the layout because this is something you'll have to get used to it another quite useful additions are the fu double functions above the F keys. So you have your usual keys like media control or brightness. However, there are some also different shortcuts introduced like search, uh, tab, or go to desktop. Now, these by default will require you to press the function key, which in a way you might think it's pointless because you still have to press uh, the desktop, go to desktop key uh, with two keys, that's Windows plus D for you. However, if you use function and escape, that will lock the mode of the F keys. So you can toggle between F keys and the special functions, which is neat. If you are a Mac user, you can switch between PC and Mac layout, which also will alter how Alt, Control and Windows keys are acting up. So you'll be able to take advantage of this keyboard, even if you are Apple fanboy. Typing on this keyboard feels snappy and responsive, regardless whether you're using a wireless interface or whether you're using Bluetooth connection. Now, the travel distance of the individual keys is about two millimeters, and they are very nice in touch, especially that the keycaps are quite large. If you are a fan of membrane-based keyboards, you're definitely not going to be disappointed. I've got this website loaded. It measures the typing speed, uh, the words per minute, charts per minute, and accuracy. So I'm gonna give it a go. And I'm gonna start first with mechanical rocker. That's uh, Cherry MX uh, brown switches. So let's give it a go and see how fast I can type. Go. Okay, so I've achieved four, 39 words per minute and my accuracy was 97%. Uh, words, characters per minute was 170 and I've made a couple of uh, spelling mistakes. One word uh, was an accidental, so I couldn't go back. So it's not bad with this keyboard. So uh, let's give it a go with uh, Xiaomi Mi W, whatever it's called. <laughs> right, uh, this is Xiaomi Mi W and uh, uh, let's give it a go. Uh, 
I'm not used to this keyboard yet, I only typed about 1000 of words so far, or less on it, so I bear in mind, however, uh, that's going to be probably one of the fastest keyboard later on when I get used to it, uh, because I can perform quite well with a flat keyboard, so let's give it a go and see how terrible I'm going to get. Okay. Oh, it's awful. Okay, so bear in mind that I only just started with this keyboard and I was able to achieve 32 words per minute, accuracy was 70, uh, sorry, 97%, and charts per minute was 142. And to give you a comparison on how well I can type, I'm, I know I'm not the greatest type, uh, but uh, how well I can perform on the flat keys, I'm just going to open the laptop and do the same thing on the laptop. Okay, let's try out with a laptop then, and uh, keep the fingers crossed, I'm probably going to be the fastest, however I might make a lot of mistakes, mostly because of this section here. So let's give it a go. Okay, and I've got 42 words per minute uh, in here. Uh, accuracy was 100%. Uh, I did make a couple of small uh, mistakes when I have to revert it back. So as you can see, this is by far the fastest typing and uh, I don't do well on tests when I'm relaxed and when I'm not thinking about it at the typing speed much faster. So what's wrong with this keyboard? Because clearly it's not a perfect choice for all the membrane lovers out there. First of all, this keyboard has no legs to stand on, and I mean that in a literal way. There is no legs whatsoever, which means you are limited to a slanted angle that comes by default. And if you like your keyboards flat, then, well, there's not much you can do about it. If you want to raise it, you probably would put something underneath that part. Now, another thing that would this keyboard would benefit from is actually indicator when the uh, function lock is enabled or disabled, possibly with a small LED, uh, would help you to identify this. Obviously, there is no highlight for the buttons, which means the typing at night is not going to be as pleasant as typing on a keyboard with full highlight. And lastly, it would be nice to see Bluetooth profiles, meaning that you could switch between telephones and laptops or etc. in an instance rather than unpairing the Bluetooth keyboard each time and pairing it with a new device. Will I replace my Rocket Rios with this Xiaomi keyboard? Probably not, even if I could use that extra space on my desk. The reason being behind it is that I really like my shortcuts and I really like mechanical keyboards for productivity reasons, while I can still revert back to my laptop to type everything out. Now, I'll be taking this keyboard to my work, don't tell my boss, and I'll be taking advantage of faster typing and the uh, ability to switch between devices. And after work, I'll take this home, link it to my um, smart projector from Xiaomi as well, and I'll be able to actually search for YouTube video much quicker. I'm currently working on a task project that would increase the number of shortcuts available from the keyboard itself to a mobile, and I've pre printed some of them in here, so pay attention to that because the tutorial is gonna be available soon. Now, if you're interested in this, uh, keyboard, the link is in the description so you can buy it from there. I'd like to thank Banggood for sponsoring this keyboard and sending over it to me so I could take a quick look at it. And if you're interested in more content, you'll find the link to my website in the description of this video too. As for now, I do not have a posting schedule, so if you want to get notified when the task profile is ready, or if you want to know more about what I do and all the articles I write, follow me on social media of your choice and you'll get instant notification when something is released. So for now, thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye!